Whether you're looking for answers to specific life questions or seeking to become the best version of you possible, welcome to the Mental Breakdown and Psych Reg podcast, where we offer insight, information, and strategies based upon research and years of practice as clinical psychologists. So sit back, have a listen, and get connected with our hosts, Dr. Bernie Wilkinson and Dr. Richard Marshall. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about something that we all just need to give up on. Give it up. Give it up. You are not the perfect parent. Oh my gosh. That's a, that's a, can be a, a smack across the head if you're not, if you're not careful. You know, when you stand and look at the Mona Lisa, <clears throat> you say, wow, I wish I would have painted that first, you know, instead of, I wish I would have written this. Yeah. Oh man, this is a this great article. article. This really is good. It's an article written by Carl Pillimer, I think mm-hmm. is how you pronounce his name. He's a, he's a professor of of human development oh, no. at Cornell University. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's a great article in Psychology Today from um, May 6th. Mm-hmm. And it's all about you know, giving up on the idea of being thinking that you're going to be the perfect parent. Right. And he begins, and I love the way he begins. He begins by saying, if you talk to elderly people, if you mm-hmm. talk to older Americans who have wisdom, you uh-huh. know, we, we mentioned in a previous podcast that the best you'll ever be as a parent is is at the end of the process. Right. Okay. You you'll get better and better, and when you're when you're really old, then you'll be a really good parent. That's why grandparents are better than they're better with their grandchildren than they were with their children because mm-hmm. we get better at it mm-hmm. over time. And Plus, this, you can send the kids home. <laughs> that's true. You don't have to take them. That's home. right. <laughs> Let somebody else bathe them and get that's them. That's right. And you can just do the fun the stuff. Vomit. Right. So, but he says, if you talk to older Americans, they will all say the same thing. There's no such thing as a perfect parent. Right. Okay. Just get it, get close enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't try to be a perfect parent. There's so much wisdom in that. So let's talk about this. So, so, you know, we hear that from parents often, uh, or or at least it's sort of depicted this idea of being the perfect parent, you know, I'm going to make all the right decisions. I'm going to do all the right things and, you know, I'm not going to make any mistakes. And then when we, you know, when our kids get upset with us, we become devastated because, Oh, I must've done something wrong. Um, no, no, (laughs) No. none of that is going to happen. No. Uh, And, and you do first time parents, especially they say, well, if I, if I, if I get everything right, right you know, all right. my prenatal care and my vitamins and my music and I read to my child and I do this and we have uh-huh. this delivery and that delivery, I can, I can make the perfect child. Mm-hmm. I'm convinced that I can do it. Maybe nobody right. else could, but I can. Okay. Some of our behaviorist colleagues uh, <laughs> believed that That's back right. in the day. That's right. Give the, me any child. That's right. Our um, friend J.B. Watson he thought uh, B.F. Skinner put his daughter in a glass box you yeah. know, to control the environment. Yeah. And, and, and it turned out okay. But. And it's not, it's just not possible. There's no. too many other factors. There's too many other things. And, and you just can't anticipate everything. I mean, if you, if you did a, a Skinnerian type of approach where you mm. said, okay, well, you know what? I'm going to keep my kid in this really enclosed right, environment right. Um, and you control everything. There's the possibility, <laughs> but that's not realistic. No, you can't. Because now right. the kid's are going to have other problems. They're too, that's right. There are too many other variables. There's too many things that happen to children, and parents simply can't control it all. Yeah. Okay. So, so the illusion that you have control, that you can, you can engineer a perfect right. outcome, is simply and 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 the elderly will tell you that it's not possible you can't do it right I mean, they, everybody has tried doing that right everybody was a first time every parent was a first time parent right. and we all felt that we could raise the perfect child right so the whole idea that if only many of us begin with i'm going to do things differently right. you know if my parents had made me take piano lessons if only right. they had let you made you take piano lessons that's right if only my Parents would have been not allowed me to quit Little League. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I could have been somebody. Right. So you have these if onlys right. that sort of got, sort of um, uh, impel um, parents, motivate parents to be the perfect parent. Mm-hmm. Got to get rid of the if onlys. Yeah, I mean that goes on forever, and there's no solution for that one. Right. Okay. Yeah, it, it's just not a well. You know, when you think <clears throat> most of us. Most of us are begin raising our children when mm-hmm. we're in our twenties. Mm-hmm. You know that's when. We're, so, 
But the 20 years in between when you were that age and your right. kids are that age, right. that 20 years makes mm -hmm. up for a tremendous difference <laughs> right. in, in the world. Right. There's a big difference in the way that things, into what is happening. I mean, just think about how different it was in 1997 compared to the way that it is now. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty significant difference. Years. Right. That's right. Um, you know, the, we didn't have cell phones. Not, not the phones, way that we do not now. Not smartphones. Right. Yeah, we didn't have that. We didn't have, I mean, Facebook, all the social media stuff didn't exist. Yeah, and exists. we had texting, but... Right. Um, so right. the world was very, very different then than it is now. Mm -hmm. um, and so we, we really have to realize that the, the idea of, uh, of being a perfect parent, and we're going to base that upon our own experiences and our own mm -hmm. um, life, it, it is really somewhat... I don't want to. I don't know if I want to say naive, it, but it's mm -hmm. it's it, not as it's not as straightforward and easy and and, and mm -hmm. obvious as we think that it might be. Right. And when you when parents begin with this if only mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. every t and and I love that the the author points this out. For every for every time you can say if only I had pushed my child harder, mm -hmm. okay, I would have had this outcome. But he said, you have to turn that coin over mm -hmm. because you might also say, if I hadn't pushed my child so hard. Right. Okay. So y you can, you can say it either way. Right. But you, but there are just as many parents saying, well, I wish I hadn't pushed my kids so hard. Right. We would still be friends today. Right. Okay. Um, and so there, there's two sides to that mm -hmm. if only coin. Right. Okay. You got to be careful about that. Yeah. It, it's the... It's such an interesting. I, I love thinking about this kind of paradox because mm -hmm. it, there, there's no, there, there's no way to know That's right. um, that if this had changed or that had changed. And not that I'm a big country music fan or anything like that, but you know? but Garth, no, you you know that, don't you know that? No. I thought you knew me. Um, Garth Brooks yes. did a song uh, a number of years ago, probably probably close to twenty years ago, called "Unanswered Prayers." Remember mm -hmm. that? Yeah, that's right. And yeah. and and right. it's you know you you think about how we like to fantasize mm -hmm. how things would have been different right. if only right. this had happened if or only. that had happened, mm -hmm. and, and the reality is is that you just don't know because it could turn out wonderful right. or it could have turned out horrible mm -hmm. we, we right. just don't know mm -hmm. and and so living your life with these um whether it's whether we want to use the word regrets right. or we want to use the word that the if onlys mm -hmm. um you know we're living that's that's just sort of living in a fantasy that's right because you can't you can't engineer it to get it just right right and it's not possible yeah okay you know you you have to to flow with it and so and, and so when it comes to the idea of being the perfect parent that's why it's just not possible no, no. because we don't we can't anticipate every possible outcome we can't anticipate every possible mm -hmm. roadblock or mm -hmm. obstacle or, or or hiccup um and so we just have to do the best that we can do one time um you know we all fancy we we psychologists all fancy ourselves being knowledgeable about parenting and how to I, get it right i very i'm very fancy and so and so um one time my kids asked me what I wanted for Christmas. And my private thought was, I'd like to have your forgiveness for all the mistakes that I made, <laughs> right? Because I've made a bunch of mistakes. And I hope my children forgive me for all those mistakes. Um, because we all make them. Right. Okay. And, and so what, what this guy um, advocates, encourages us to do, is not to, be, not to try to be a perfect parent, but what he he uses the phrase "good enough." Be a good enough parent. Right. Okay. Be be good enough mm -hmm. so that your children turn out okay. You're going to make a ton of mistakes. Right. We all have made a ton of mistakes. Right. Um, your kids will probably forgive you. So probably uh, don't probably. <laughs> um, so don't worry about being perfect. Um, just be good enough. Mm -hmm. and that'll be sufficient. Good enough. He says is three things. One is. To be uh, is openness. Mm -hmm. so you got to be open with your kids. You got to yeah. be honest. You got to be open. You have to have frank discussions with right. them because other people are having frank discussions with Absolutely. them. And Absolutely. And so it better you than than a stranger. That's right. Second, you have to have the ability to listen. Yes. Okay. You 
you have to listen to your children. You have to hear with your heart. You have to hear with your ears. We talk about that in our books. So. Right. Yeah. That's right. And number the three. Th- and the third is good intentions. You know, have always three. It's three things. It's funny. I, <laughs> I had a wife once, not the one I have now, but a different wife, who said, oh, yeah, everything's always in twos for you. And then I met you and everything's in threes. And now mm-hmm. I understand what she was frustrated about. Everything's in threes for you. I didn't write this. I know, but I'm glad I had three. Because mm-hmm. that is nice cons- and consonant with threes. <laughs> mine, mine was always two. So there's two things about that, and she would get very frustrated. Uh-huh. Anyway, there are three things. And the last good is good inten- have good intentions, okay? Um, um, you, you can't force your children to become anything. You can't right. punish them and bribe them into becoming what you want them to be right um you have to be there to hold their hand to guide them um help them out right you know, just be good enough yeah you don't have to be perfect there, yeah. there is no perfect that's right when you get come back when they're 25 and let me know how it went you know don't tell me how wonderful they are at five right no 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 come back when they're 25 and give me the whole story yeah yeah, yeah. So absolutely it's a tough process being a parent is hard it is it is and um so we're the, we're the first to acknowledge that. Yeah. So, so you can read the article. It's We have the link yeah. in the show notes. I would read this one. So I strongly out. urge parents to read this yeah. one, especially young parents who are trying so hard to get it right. Yeah. It's okay. It's going to work out. Yeah. Um, so if you, um, so you can check that out there. Just a quick announcement. We've been trying to announce it every week um, or every day. The, uh, if you are a UK listener, mm-hmm. uh, if you are, if you follow us and you're, you right. live in the UK, we, there's a contest going on right now from that through our partnership with Lumi, mm-hmm. L-U-M-I-E. Uh, you can click in the show notes and there's a, there's a link to our PsychReg um, website um, page with the information, the terms and conditions and everything, but you mm-hmm. can enter, follow, follow some of those rules and you can enter to win a Lumi body clock, right. and, uh, which is very cool. It's a, it wakes you up with light, which is exactly what our body was intended Absolutely. to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, our body is made to wake up with light. So um, it's a great way to um, wake up in the morning uh, in an easy way that's not uh, awful, awful right. noise. Jarring, the jarring buzz of an alarm <laughs> clock. Wakes you up. This is a much better way to wake up. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, so check that out. You know, enter yeah. enter the contest. I think mm-hmm. you will you will really like. I, I want one of those clocks, but you, you'll really right. like. But we the, can't get them here, right? I don't think so. I don't know. Don't I'm going to check it out and see because yeah. I'd I'd love to get one. I yeah, think they're so cool. I didn't look on Amazon. That was a good idea. Yeah. You mentioned that yesterday. Right. That's a good idea. Yeah, so. he may have. Yeah. So, all right. And you could have. Did you say he may have them? Yeah, Jeff. Like, like Jeff. (laughs) Jeff Amazon. Right. He might have them. He's surpassed Buffett in wealth. Yeah. He's number two. Good gracious. Oh man. I just want to be like. I don't even want to be on that list. You know how much pressure that would be. Anyways, we're not talking about that. We're talking okay. about, talking so, about l- so if you're uh, a, a UK listener, uh, check that out and and see what you think. Uh, all right. So until next time, have a happy, happy day. Stay happy, healthy, and forget to be afraid. Bye.